I hope that you are having an amazing day so far on this awesome Veterans Day. Thank you so much to all the veterans that have helped keep this country safe, that go out and into the world and take care of us from afar. I hope one day you won't have to, but until then, I'm glad you're employed. <laughs> Today, all about connections. Connections with who we are, connections to our past, present, future. As we go through life, we neglect the fact that we need to be connected. I read somewhere that it takes 13 people for a person to have a tribe, which to me, 13 people is so amazing. I can think of so many people that have impacted my life and that have really brought me to a place of growth and maturity development. Just even right now, today, I remember looking back at my first video, how many, uh, um, shoot, what am I supposed to say, moments that I had, and the people that have really helped me come along on that journey. First of all, Toastmasters, they are a club of people that we have at least 11 people now. They are a place, a club that I connected with. And this happened quite a bit ago. Now I'm in for over a year and it's been an incredible journey. And if I hadn't have taken that leap of faith and said, I am going to connect to something different, I would never have been able to grow past where I thought I could be. Someone told me that we only heal to the level of our belief. What are the beliefs that hold you back from thinking that you can really truly connect with the world around you? Connect to the earth, to the sky, and to that person that's standing next to you in the line. I love doing that, talking to people, random strangers. My kids are always like, mom, stranger danger. <laughs> but I think that it's so important that we each can impact another person's life you create a ripple effect. You are the ripple effect. You can either keep your gift to yourself or you can really share it with the world. I hope that you choose the latter today, that you share your smile, you share your compassion, your kindness, mm, not so much your anger, <laughs> with anyone that is willing to accept it even those that don't. I tell my kids so much that, yes, there's bullies out there. There's people that are mad and angry at the world. There are people that are gonna hurt you, but they're just hurting. Hurt people hurt people. It's the way it goes. And when we start to learn how to nurture ourselves, we can really start to learn how to nurture others as well. On this journey, I can be called selfish for wanting to heal, for doing things that I wanted to do instead. But each time I connected to who I am more, going to a drum circle or powwow, I get to connect with roots that are connected to a simpler life simpler living. If I want to go to an art studio, I get to see the paintings that people have done. That one up there is actually one of my favorite ones that I've done. <clears throat> I wonder what would have happened if I didn't step out of my comfort zone, stop doing certain things that I really didn't feel like connected to me. I tried to connect to others through connecting through their interests and their ideas of fun. And then I started connecting to me. I've been to different states on healers retreats, learning about how to better myself, love myself, and take care of myself. And in that, I am a ripple. I am teaching my kids that they're valuable too. 
because I feel valuable, I can teach others how to feel valuable too. So remember to connect to yourself. Maybe connect to yourself will not make anger so readily shared. Maybe connecting to yourself will help you learn that this isn't actually your pattern of sadness, of depression, of anger. It's actually something that you were modeled a long time ago. And either you decided to stay in it or you didn't consciously, you decided to be the opposite. There was still resistance within you. There was still, I have to change. And that resistance can be alleviated by letting go of the past pain, by letting go of the hurts, and by connecting to others as well as yourself. Everything is about connection. You are connecting here right now, watching this. I'm connecting right here, right now, because I'm speaking my truth, because I'm sharing, because I'm using the skills that I have been working on to hone in on. So I hope that today you find another way to connect. Connect to the stranger on the street that just looks like they need a smile. Don't take a homeless person. And of course, there are limits to what we can do. But hand them a water bottle and say, good luck to you. Or we can see others outside of ourselves, our children. We can ask them how their day is doing and really gen genuinely wonder and talk and conversate and deepen our connection to them by just asking some questions. Connect. Connect, connect, connect. Have a wonderful day.